Welcome back to another example of factoring trinomials by grouping. We've got our second example here, which is 12x squared plus 13x minus 4. So remember, with the factoring by grouping, if you watched our example 1 video, we go through and we label the coefficients a, b, and c. And the idea with the grouping is that we will turn our middle term into two separate like terms that add up to 13x still. So remember, we look at a times c and we compare it to b. In this one, if I look at a times c, it's 12 times negative 4, which would be negative 48. And we compare that to b, which is a positive 13. And we always say, what two numbers will multiply to get a times c with the same two numbers adding to get b? So we need two numbers that multiply to get negative 48, and they add to get 13. I know by a little elimination, if they multiply to get a negative, one of them is a positive and one of them is a negative. Um, if I look down here, because they add to get a positive, I also might be able to narrow down that the positive number is bigger than the negative, in particular by 13. So if we look at it for a minute, we might be able to figure out that the numbers are positive 16 and a negative 3. Positive 16 times negative 3 would give negative 48, and positive 16 plus a negative 3, in other words, minus 3, will give us 13. So either of these numbers in either order, 16 and negative 3, are what we will use to group the middle term. So we will keep the first term, I will use 16 and negative 3 to regroup my x term, so it needs to stay like terms to what it was to begin with. So we have 16x and minus 3x, which is still 13x total, just broken up into two pieces. Keep the minus 4 on the end, so again we only break up the center term. Now we have four terms, and just like we did in the factoring by grouping intro video, we now look at greatest common factor in each pair. So 12x squared plus 16x, what is the GCF of that? Well, I have a 4 and an x in common. If I factor out 4x from the first half, I get a 3x left over in the first term, and I get a 4 left over in the second term. Remember, if you distribute, you should get back what you started with. 4x times 3x is that, and 4x times 4 is that. I should be able to find the 3x plus 4 in the second half. So I copy that down again, and I say what times the 3x plus 4 will give me the other half. And if you notice, we have negative signs here, so everything is opposite sign of what we have here. I really need a negative 1 in front of that to make sure I get a negative 3x when I distribute and a negative 4. Okay, so we have finished. We have 3x plus 4 is definitely a factor here. Remember the outsides in front of the 3x plus 4 are our other factor. So we have 4x minus 1 as our other factor. That's our answer, factoring by grouping. That's example 2. We've got a couple more to go. Hang in there. Keep factoring by grouping. We'll see you in the next video.